you have to remember is that St. Peter's beat Purdue on National Peacock Day. I think it bodes well for St. Peter's today. I'm told is National Joe Day, as in coffee. And I don't think Hubert Davis drinks coffee, so St. Peter's has them right where they want them now. So, <laughs> so exactly green, green tea. Uh, yeah, <laughs> green tea. <laughs> so how how does look? It's improbable. How does St. Peter's keep winning? What? Well, I, I do agree that the defensive thing is the key. How disruptive can they be? And if you look at the last 10 minutes that Carolina played versus Baylor, they were disrupted by Baylor's full-court mm -hmm. pressure. Baylor's a little bit different in the way they press. But I think St. Peter's to, to put pressure on the ball and try to make it difficult for North Carolina to run their stuff, to get into that ball screen stuff. But the other thing Carolina can't do is they can't get caught chasing them. Mm -hmm. Like, like Purdue did that. They're, they're chasing Eddard around screens. He's looping twice, and they wind up trailing him the whole time and get lifted up. Uh, I don't think Carolina can afford to do that. That What they have to do is pack the paint and make them prove it over the top. And this is not a great offensive St. Peter's team. It's been an extraordinary run. But I think Carolina is is the stronger team. They're the bigger team. And they've got Armando Baycott. If he stays out of foul trouble, he's going to get another double-double. That's going to be 29 for the season. I think he can wind up being the key to the game if they can get the ball inside to him and if they can run their, their ball screen action, especially in the middle of the floor. They can cause a lot of problems. Stay true to the identity. They're not going to reinvent themselves to get to the Final Four. They're going to be who they are. They're going to get up and under on made shots. They're going to pressure the ball. They can turn the ball handler. They'll trap. They're going to try to force Carolina to run their offense one step further out. If you can run them one step further out, now Baycott's got to come one step further away from the basketball. They'll probably blitz all those ball screens, all right, try to take the ball out of their hands. They're going to try to disrupt the rhythm of the game. And offensively, Fonz, you got to spread them out. Mm -hmm. And they're going to try to put those bigs of North Carolina in ball screens create a switch or drag two so they can throw out an attack. And that's been their, basically their recipe all through the tournament. Yeah. They're not going to change. What they are going to do is they're going to try to be the hardest playing, toughest team, and they're going to try to put Carolina on their heels. Uh, Leaky Black, Armando Baycott, Brady Maddock, those guys are at least 6'8", and, and obviously Leaky Black is their small forward who can just guard about anybody. Yeah. And so for me, the key is going to be, can the Peacocks protect their glass? Because given that side, they're going to have to slow the game down, and the way that they like to trap and switch, now all of a sudden, now all of a sudden, you three on four on the backside, can they keep North Carolina from dominating the glass? And I think that's going to be the biggest key today. And Carolina plays two point guards. Mm -hmm. you know, Caleb Love and R.J. Davis that's are both point, point guards, mm -hmm. and point. that's going to help them in handling the pressure. In Carolina, certainly has been here before. This completely uncharted territory for St. Peter's, North Carolina, trying to make its 21st appearance in the Final Four, which they would do with a victory. They are 20 and 7 in Elite Eight appearances all time, so they've been very successful on this stage. Carolina would be the third team seated eight or worse in the ACC to reach the Final Four, and obviously Miami has that opportunity to do from the ACC since seeding began in 1979, one step away from the Final Four for the Heat. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.